All right, this problem is considerably more complicated. We've got now two masses on the table. We've got another mass hanging over the table. And we're asked to find both T1 and T2. Why? Because there's two different ropes now. And each one of these ropes has a separate tension. Uh, how are we going to do this? OK, let's begin by writing all of the forces on the system. So here, we've got T1. And of course, ropes can only pull. It's the same rope here, so that's T1 also. OK? Uh, on this side, we've got T2. And here, we've got T2 also. Here, we've got gravity, right? What's touching it plus gravity. And of course, now I can put these down, but understand these are not going to contribute uh, to the acceleration. MBG, and this one is MAG and FN again, and those two FNs are going to be the same. But there's there are, there's a couple of other forces now which we need to take into consideration, and those are friction. Let me do that in a different color so that it stands out. So we've got friction now in this direction, and that is force of friction B, and we've got friction here as well, and this is force of friction A. Okay? Now, The interesting thing here is that I'm not going to draw out all the tensions now. Understand that for the path, we haven't drawn the path yet. Let me do that. So for the path, which is like this, again, positive path, T1 is going to cancel out. T2 is going to cancel out. So the only things which we have, in effect, are force of friction, force of friction, and MCG. So therefore, if we write it out, We'll say, all right, some of the forces. And by the way, listen, I'm, I'm kind of diving right into this problem, but I'm not really telling you my strategy, OK? Step number one is find A. Step number two is to find T, OK? You can't find T without finding A first. So now we're going to do summation of the uh, forces on the system is F net system. OK, so let's write out this equation here. What are we going to have? Negative force of friction, A, that guy. OK, negative force of friction, B. OK, and then the other one which counts is positive, this guy, MCG. Understand, OK, so if I show you here, Where's my pen? This guy cancels out with this guy. This guy cancels out with this guy. So all the tensions are gone in the system. And of course, these guys are vertical. They don't count. So that's what we're left with. Now that's going to equal the mass of the system times acceleration. And if we write this out, we're going to get negative mu mag minus mu mbg plus mcg is equal to ma plus, oh, drats, hold on. Uh, that's MA plus MB plus MC times A. Now, let's try and simplify this a little bit. So we're going to go, let's, we, what can we factor out? Well, we can factor out a G. So let's go G times MC minus mu MA minus mu MB divided by 
MA plus Dratz, I did it again, MB plus MC. That's going to equal A. Okay, so let's plug in our numbers. 9.8. Uh, MC, I believe, was 8 minus uh, 0.25 times MA, and MA is 3, minus 0.25 times MB, which is 4. Okay. And that's all divided by uh, 3 plus 4 plus 8, okay, kilograms. So what do we get for A? This all equals A. Let's plug it through our calculator. Okay, so we've got 8, enter. Uh, 0.25, enter 3 times, subtract, 0.25, enter 4 times, subtract, 9.8 times, and then 3 plus 4 plus 8 is 15, 15 divided by, okay, made sure I did that one right. So now we've got an acceleration of 4.08, approximately, meters per second squared. Okay, now, now that we have the A, we can now do a free body analysis. Now, if we go back to the drawing, I can actually draw it again because the drawing up there got a little messy. Um, if I do this drawing again, you see, the interesting thing here is that A, B, C. We've got two tensions, so we have to we have to to solve two equations in order to get our final answer. So this one's going to have T here, right? One. This one's going to have T one. This one's going to be uh, T two. This one's going to be T two, and we've got. friction A here, we've got friction B there, okay, and of course we have MCG here. So what we're looking for, now this is an important point in the problem. We need to pause for a minute and think. You now have a choice of three separate individual masses to do a free body diagram on, to, f to try and find T1 and T2. Now at this point, I must stress this, you, you know before I've told you it doesn't matter which mass you pick. Well now it does. Why does it? Let's take a look. If you happen to pick this one, you're going to have a problem. Why? Because this one in the equation, in the free body diagram of equation for mass B, We've got an unknown value of T1 here and an unknown value of T2. That means we have two unknowns but only one equation. Impossible. We can't do it. Therefore, we have to pick either A or B. Now, that it's actually kind of nice because A uh, has T1 in it. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we do the summation of the forces uh, on mass A, we're going to get F net on A. So, of course, we know that uh, this is the positive direction. And therefore, we're going to say, all right, negative force of friction A plus T1 is going to equal uh, F net A, which is MAAA. And so, if we work that out, we're going to have T1 is going to equal MAA plus force of friction. Now, instead of writing force of friction, I'm going to write what it's equal to, which is mu MAG. And, of course, we can factor out the MA 
and we get this. Okay? And if we plug our values in, MA was 3. The acceleration, which we got before, over here, right, was 4.08. plus 0.25 times 9.8. And that's going to give us, let's take a look, uh, 0.25, enter 9.8 times 4.08 plus 3 times. We get an answer of 19.6. 19.6 newtons. Okay, so now we know what T1 is. Yay, half the problem is done. Now we have to do the other half. Now at this point, okay, now listen, I got I to gotta tell you right now. We could now, it is definitely feasible if we solve using the free body diagram for mass B. Why? Well, because now we know what T1 is. Of course, provided that you calculated T1 correctly. If you made a mistake in T1, you will also make now a mistake in T2 if you choose mass B. So, a, a better thing to do is to actually pick mass C. That way, you could, if you got the acceleration right and you messed up on T1, you could still end up getting T2 correct. All right, so let's come down here and do T2. So... Here's the free body diagram. There's the T2. There is MCG. And this is mass C. So, and of course, we know down is positive now. So we've got negative T2 plus MCG is equal to that. Of course, once again, this is summation of the forces is F net. And to solve for T2, that's just going to be mcg minus mca fa factor out mc g minus a and we're left with 8 kilos times 9.8 kilogram or sorry meters per second squared minus 4.08 we calculated before and what do we get for the answer let's find out 9.8, enter, uh, 4.08 minus 8 times. Answer, 45.8, approximately. All right, so we're done the problem. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.